係好多謝大家即係報咗我哋個社會學嘅課程啦。咁我哋希望、呃、通過依個體驗日咧，就、呃、能夠令大家可以了解多啲、呃、我哋嗰個嘅課程啦。第一樣嘢，第二樣嘢咧，我都、呃、邀請咗有兩位嘅社會學系嘅同學咧，就想同大家即係分享一下佢哋嘅學習嘅、呃、生活點滴。咁誒，不如我而家介紹一下我哋誒其中一位同學先啦。咁我哋誒其中一位同學咧，就係阿阿 Trevor 嘅。咁或者阿 Trevor， 你同大家誒 say 個 hello 先。誒、呃，大家好啊！我係而家讀緊樹林大學，即將會升 E.F. Four 嘅誒 Trevor 中友偉同學啦。咁就誒、呃，我一陣會再同阿阿中友偉咧，就再講一講嘅，即係大家傾一傾就。等大家可以了解一下，誒喺樹人大學啊、呃、讀社會學系嗰個學習嘅經驗咁樣嘅，咁啊大致上我哋就會分兩節嘅，咁誒第一節我就會好好簡短咁同大家講一講嗰、那個誒、呃、社會學係啲乜嘢啦。第二樣嘢咧就誒、呃、就會進入咧就係同阿阿有位同學咧就會分享下，即係講下佢嘅經驗嘅。咁我哋都會用一個誒、呃、訪談嘅形式。誒咁首先，我想了解一下咧，大家誒係咪都聽到廣東話㗎？係，使唔使誒轉誒 channel 㗎？有冇咩問題啊？如果冇咩問題，我就會用廣東話去講呢個 talk。如果有問題，你可以誒話俾我聽，咁我哋可能就要轉翻嗰個啊語言嘅。咁有冇咩問題先？首先。如果大家冇咩問題咧，我就想同大家咧做一個啊 vote 嘅喺度，我就想了解一下大家個 background， 因為咧其實誒我哋誒今次個目的咧都會有誒三三三組嘅同學啦，咁其實有一組就會係 D S C 嘅學生啦，咁有一組就係誒 A D 啦，同埋另外一組就 H D 嘅同學。哦，哦 ，OK。That maybe I need to change to English. Is it is it okay to speak in English then? Okay, uh, because we have some students uh with the problems uh of uh the Cantonese. Then maybe I need to speak in English. So at uh, first, I would like to uh do some a uh, warm up exercise. Okay, so uh, it's very informal, but, but we I just want to know more about your background. So I would like to give you a vote here. That you can just uh, vote uh, by uh, answering this question. So I would like to know you uh, whether you are DSE or ADHD student or the others. So you can cast your vote, please. All right. Uh, we have uh, most of you, uh, with the ADHD background, the majority. Okay, we still have someone uh, casting your work. Then let's wait for a minute. Okay, so maybe I show you the voting results. Most of you. Most of you are, are the ADHD students, and uh, we have 25% of you uh, are the DSC students. Uh, anyway, uh, with this, uh, I can't warm exercise to know more about you first. Then I would like to, uh, maybe we uh, have, I would like to have some video, uh, maybe focusing on ADHD study. So you, you, you probably know uh, ADHD students may uh, enter the program uh for the year two or year three so if you are dsc student then uh, you will uh, get in the program just like the others uh when you are year one okay that's mean year one entry so let me um just give you a very brief introduction about um sociology perhaps you may want to know more about our uh sharing by the students so i just give you a very brief introduction 
Um, I prepared the PowerPoint, but uh, you, um, perhaps PowerPoint is uh, quite formal. So, but anyway, uh, it's much more organized. So maybe I just share the screen with you. I will just uh, talk uh, very briefly. So uh, don't, don't be afraid of this uh, very formal presentation. Uh, so uh, first, uh, like, uh, you, you apply for our program of sociology. Then I think one of the question, uh, one of the most important question is uh, what sociology is. This is the most important question. That's so it, it, uh, I, I know uh, some of you may have the background uh, of social science, then you may uh, take sociology before. And then but for the DSD student, we still have the 23% of you uh, who may not take sociology before. Then uh, I would like to explain sociology in terms of the work, uh, in terms of the work. Uh, I think you know uh, quite a lot of academic discipline end with uh, ology, O-L-O-G-Y. They, they, they always end in this part. Can you name some of the words, some of the discipline end, end with uh, ology? Can you name some of, some of them? What, what word come to your mind and then they end with this part? Any ideas? They are also the academic disciplines. Do you have any idea? I think you may you may know this academic discipline. Okay, society. Society is not end with uh, O L G Y. Society. Ah, okay. Some of you call out anthropology. This is a uh, very good example. And with O L O G Y, a kind of academic discipline. I, I just uh, bring out this uh, example psychology. You probably know. Uh, anthropology come from uh, the floor. Any other example? Maybe we have this one. Premiology, so on, so forth. Uh, you probably know all of them are end with this uh, O L O G Y. Then uh, the point is, okay, we still have some feedback. Oh, biology, yes, biology. This is another example. Good. Now all of them end with this part. But that's a point is, okay, thanks uh, for your contribution. That's a point is, what is the meaning, okay? What's the meaning of O-L-O-G-Y? Uh, this is very interesting. Okay, you, you understand sociology also end with O-L-O-G-Y. Then what is the meaning? Like when we um, understand this word, actually you can break it down into two parts, sociology. You can break it down into two parts. The first part, of course, is uh, social, in, okay, for the first part. The second part uh, is OLOGY. So, so you break it down, then you may understand the uh, meaning of this word. Now it's very simple. I just uh, used uh, some uh, vocabulary okay, to understand this term. Now, so you see sociology, okay, I just break it down into two parts. The first part is social, the second part is origin. But then the point is what is the meaning? Okay, what's the meaning of these two terms? I think social, um, uh, one of you already gave me the answer. So it means society. So I don't think it's very difficult. Okay, we, you, you already get it, right? Social means society. Then how about orology, okay? Like orology, you, you see all of the words, okay? We have quite a lot of words uh, and with orology. Then what, what, what is the meaning of orology? That is the, the part. Do you, do you know the, the meaning of this, this, this part, orology? Do you, do you know? Do you have any idea? If you get this part, you already uh, get the uh, understanding of sociology. And the meaning is similar to uh, all of the contribution you, you made earlier. Uh, the, the meaning is exactly the same. 
uh, with this all okay psychology anthropology criminology biology they 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 share the same meaning Perhaps I give you the answer here, and then you combine these two parts together, then you may know what it is. Ology, the, 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 the later part means the study of, and then if we have so so, so just like you have, uh, one of you have already provided the answer while you talk about society. Then when you combine the two terms together, so it's very simple, straightforward, it is the study of society. But then a uh, study of society uh, is a very short uh, understanding of sociology. And I, I, I have elaborated the, the, the uh, definition in the next slide. I, I just uh, use Chinese, but I will explain in English. Um, it, it mainly talks about, uh, it, we talk about a unit here, okay, the study unit. Now the study unit, because we focus on society, the study unit is about groups. I think it's very important. Organization and the whole society, community, uh, how the uh, different parts interact with each other. I, I say part because part can refer to, you know, uh, institution, organizations, uh, as well as people. So uh, this is a, a kind of elaboration of the previous slide. And then another thing, another thing, sociology is a kind of academic discipline, academic discipline. So it may help uh, the second point, it may help the policy maker uh, to, you know, uh, make the improvement uh, or, or about the current uh, maybe uh, measures, or we can propose some policy to the policy maker, to the government. And then the last part, uh, this one um, is about the nature the nature of sociology, uh, the nature, um, you, you understand some academic discipline um, may focus on individuals. Uh, one of the example is the psychology. Psychology focus on individual. Uh, they talk about how the brain functions or how the people uh, interact with each other, uh, you, you know, uh, maybe it's about the behavior change they are very, uh, I mean, about the micro part, the personal. But if we talk about sociology, it is different, totally different from psychology. Uh, sociology is about the macro part. So macro, you probably know, uh, we will look at the large, uh, the scale is very large. Um, maybe I, I use the next example to illustrate uh, the macro uh, nature. Now, I think uh, we know uh, some of the social problems uh, in the society may concern about maybe unemployment. So unemployment, okay, now, if we look from the sociology point of view, uh, we don't just study one person. Now, you see here, I just need some example. If we talk about one person, okay, losing a job, and then it is not, you know, not, um, how should we say, um, it is not a very, um, it's not a core part. However, if we talk about many people, I'm talking, talking about the unit, okay? Many people losing the jobs, okay? Then we will look at the general picture, the macro picture. We will talk about the unemployment rate. Probably you know unemployment rate to measure the unemployment in the whole society rather than just looking at person A, person B, person C. If you just look at person A, person B, person C um, separately, uh, it is not the core part of the sociology. So um, one of the bigger picture is to focus on the many people, okay? Many people. Many people may be, okay, get poor. Then we will look at the core part, okay? The whole picture. Uh, poverty rate, probably you know poverty rate. Uh, we will talk about Gini coefficient. Okay, all of them are the measures for the larger society. Now, this is one of the um, scope. Okay, talking about the unit. Another, of course, will be about some, you know, contrast, okay? opposing interests between uh, different groups. Like I always use the groups uh, rather than the person. Different groups, 
uh, so this is the opposing interest. Uh, probably you know the opposing interest is between two groups. For example, between the employer, and uh, this term means employer, this term means workers. So they are opposing to each other. And then we have some theory and uh, focusing on this opposing interest. Okay, then uh, another thing is we will, how, how do we employ, how do we employ society? And then the focus will be about those uh, problems or the issue in the society. And then the issue or the institutions we call institutions, the organizations. We will focus on some institutions such as uh, nursing, nursing, medical sector, uh, legal system, government, education, economy. So all of them are some example in the society. Then I will try to use some, you know, uh, daily, daily life, okay, daily living, uh, some examples you can find in society. And then we try to explain, okay, for example, we can use sociology to uh, analyze the uh, elderly home. Uh, we, we know uh, in Hong Kong, the shortage is very serious in the elderly home. Then we will look at uh, what are the reasons, what are the causes, uh, what are the policy, and what kind of suggestion we will make to uh, tackle this uh, issue. Another, maybe, you know, uh, COVID-19 is still uh, a weapon uh, nowadays. Then uh, just like last year, and then a lot of elders are very afraid of, you know, taking the shot, taking the vaccine. Then sometimes we will also use this um, uh, framework to understand why the elders are so afraid of taking the shot. So I, I will just use this kind of uh, 4A, okay? But, but this is um, much more deeper. But this is a kind of framework to understand, to explain why some elders are not so eager to take the shot. Uh, another thing is sociology uh, coming from social science is under the umbrella of social science. Then uh, when we call science, uh, maybe uh, Trevor may discuss this much more because uh, Trevor has already taken quite a lot of uh, methodology courses, uh, social science, uh, I mean, social research method, uh, quantitative, qualitative, those kind of stuff. Then you probably know when we call science, it is a kind of method to study, to understand the society. So I will give you one example to understand this, this element. Actually, um, it is about the methodology. So when we um, start a project, we may focus on uh, how we find the people, how we find the respondent, we call respondent. For example, you want to do a questionnaire and then you need to deliver the questionnaires. Then how many people, okay? So the sample size, how many people will you uh, interview? And uh, what is the method, how you find this group of the people and uh, what what kind of um, um, infantry do you do you have the telephone infantry? Do you just call them every you know just call call every person by yourself or maybe you employ some company and then to do this kind of uh, uh, data collection for you? So I'm talking about uh, scientific in terms of the methodology and how you can analyze the data. Of course, this is much more uh, in depth. But you know, uh, sociology, uh, the basic idea about soci sociology is about uh, all kinds of stuff. Okay? I, I just try to use uh, within uh, 20 minutes and then to discuss uh, some major uh, features of sociology. Maybe I just have a sub very short summary. Uh, sociology, the study of society, this is the first point. First point, the study of society. The second point, sociology is at the macro level, macro rather than micro. The third point, the last point is sociology is a kind of social science. We use scientific method, okay, to conduct the science. So hopefully we, uh, I just use this short time, okay, to, to uh, give you some basic idea. 
perhaps uh, you don't want to okay be so bored okay get bored because uh, it's just like a car lecture so i don't want to make you sleepy or get bored maybe we go to the second session and then the second session maybe you uh you find more interesting uh, because i just invite um actually i invite two students uh they both are the year three student 